Hello again. A number of different materials can be used for the printing matrices for dry point printing. And in a previous video, I showed you how to cut down PETG, which is the clear plastic film. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare Tetra Pak printing plates. And Tetra Pak is a material that's often used in food packaging. There are two different types of Tetra Pak. Um, the first is a coated paper material. And then the second is a coated, uh, what appears to be aluminum material. And it's often used for soy milk, milk, dairy products, sometimes also pharmaceuticals. Um, the size of the packaging will determine the largest size solid plate surface you'll be able to achieve. Now, for those of you who are interested, you can also incorporate seams and even the edges of the packaging into your matrix if you'd like either a shaped plate or you're interested in some of the marks that might be inherent to the plate material itself. The first step is to prepare the surface. And after you consume whatever the product is, you'll want to thoroughly wash it out. After that, it's opening up the packaging. So these two have been rinsed out, um, but I also have next to me uh, paper towels and also a vinegar water spray uh, if any additional cleaning needs to take place. After you have your package completely cleaned and opened up, then you'll want to determine the maximum size that you would like to achieve and whether or not you're going to try to create your plate inside of one of the panels or also incorporate some of the um, folds that might be um, inherent to the plate material itself. Anything like a spout, you'll want to make sure you cut off because the thickest difference in height that the printing press can accommodate is about a sixteenth of an inch tall up to an eighth of an inch tall. Something like a spot, though, would definitely be too tall to include in the printing plate itself. And I know for the prints that I'm creating, four by six is about as large as I would like to go. So I'm going to create some of the plates that incorporate the folds, and then I'll have some that are within the boundaries of the um, solid side itself. And so the largest I'll be able to achieve of a smooth plate surface with this carton is going to be about three and a half inches wide. And it could go up to seven inches long. I prefer to have a rough cut first, where I have a generally cut to the um, flat area that I'm interested in working with. And then I'll switch from my rough cut utensil, like a pair of scissors, to something that's going to give me a little bit more precision. So for this, I'm going to use a cutting knife, a ruler, and a cutting mat. Similar to cutting paper or the PETG plates, I'm going to align the material up using the straight edges that are on the cutting mat. And score the material several times rather than trying to push through the material all at once. So now that I have one even cut, I'm going to very precisely line that up with one of the horizontal edges. Line my ruler up with the vertical edge. And because I'm trying to maximize the plate size, I'm trying to keep the ruler as close as possible to the rough cut edge. Because my printing paper is 5 by 7 inches, I'm going to consider the plate size in relationship to the paper size. And I'd like to have 
some margins, I know I'm going to be creating a landscape image. So knowing that I might have a half inch margin along the top and sides and one inch margin at the bottom, I'm going to cut the plate so that it's six inches long. So my final plate size then will be three and a half inches by six inches. For this plate, I'm going to cut it incorporating some of the elements that are already in place in the packaging. So I'm going to try to figure out how to incorporate this patterning in with the design of the plate I'm interested in creating. And I'm going to create this plate at four by six inches. So if I'm interested, I can combine this plate matrix with the PTG plate for a multicolor image. The metal Tetra Pak packaging is cut up just like the paper Tetra Pak packaging is. So the first thing is to flatten the box. And afterwards, you're going to open it up so that it is, in fact, a flat sheet. With this packaging, I can get one three and a half inch by six inch flat panel, or I can get multiple four by six inch panels incorporating the folds of the packaging. And there you have it, uh, how to create and cut down your Tetra Pak printing plates. And it may be a good idea also to let these sit overnight underneath some heavy weights, such as a stack of books in order to flatten them out a little bit more before you begin your plate work. Happy printing.